Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy, Dad Owl here again, playing some more classic World of Warcraft. And today, I'm actually not going to be playing. If this is going to be an episode where I call somebody out who's just a scummy person in general with all the shit he's done in like literally three days. Uh, and I I'm just going to put him on blast so this video will follow him. Because if he's going to be petty and did what he did, then I'm going to be petty and I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And to be honest with you, I really hate petty drama. But the fact that he lied pretty much to everybody I knew in game that I was done... Uh, I kind of just, you know, have to take out the trash at this point and have to deal with it. So, uh, I'm not sure if you can hear my voice, but I'm sick. I got the stomach flu four days ago, and I'm still sick with it. Of course, flus usually last like a week, so it's bound to stay with me for a little bit. So, I've been sick, and uh, this is where this whole ordeal starts. So, I'm going to be putting this man on blast. His name is Tragedy23 or Tragedy TV. You can go ahead and stop by his channel and say a little hello. Uh, you know, any publicity is good publicity, right? So, uh, just go say hi to him if you really want. Uh, you know, go follow him if you do enjoy his channel. But, uh, today we're gonna be talking about the shit he did behind my back. Uh, and I trusted him. And so, to make this a little more interesting, I've decided to incorporate story time with ya boy, Dat Owl. Store time with Owl. So I will be drawing pretty much everything that I've been doing as of this weekend and all the drama. So you get to see it all in pictures. It's pretty cool. You get to see how good I can draw. So here we go. Let's enjoy it. So it all started when I was a child. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So th this story all starts basically last week. Uh, there's You have my regular schedule here. But uh, now I added on to my regular schedule because of Classic where Raid Days where every single Friday and Saturday for the guild I had planned that every day at 11.30, I mean 8.30 to 11.30 EST we would be raiding. So this was at night. Now the only problem was this same week TwitchCon was going on and I was going to go down to TwitchCon to meet up with all my friends because of course I've been to TwitchCon pretty much every year, and it's just a really good time. And the reason why it's such a good time is because every year I go, I get to have drinks with my uh, good buddies. So uh, I get really drunk, I get really fucked up, and I have a good time. And of course, I reached this predicament where I'm just super concerned. I'm like, oh fuck. I don't know how I'm going to raid and go to both TwitchCon. But then I kind of thought about it a little bit, and then I realized that the light bulb just clicked. And I knew what I could do. Of course, I had a really shitty laptop that I could bring with me. One that I used for school. And uh, I decided that, hey, I would install Classic on it. And I would raid during the in-betweens at the convention. So it would work out. And even if there was an issue, I quite literally live in San Diego. I live maybe 45 minutes from San Diego itself. So it wasn't an issue for me to raid. All I had to do was either get home or use my laptop. So it's not like I was traveling across the country. And so that had decided it for me. I was going to bring my laptop. I was going to go down to San Diego, have a good time with my friends. And of course, in the in-between, which happens at pretty much every convention, people only go in the morning, I would raid with my guild. And so that same night on Thursday, I decided to go out, go drink with my friends, and there was actually the Discord party. So I ended up going to the Discord party. I ended up having five shots, but uh, you can see here I'm pretty loose. And uh, I was having a good time. I was five shots in and just dancing with pretty much anyone I could find. I found a couple cool people. Found a girl with some uh, voluptuous personalities, and uh, she was cool. But I, I was just there to dance with my friends, so I was just out there dancing. And I knew that this was going to be one of the only nights where I could really just have a good time and not worry about anything. So I went pretty much balls to the wall, having a good time, hanging out with whoever I could, and meeting new people. And so the night comes to an end. My friend forces me back to his Airbnb because he just said I was way too fucked up, and it's like two in the morning. So I pass out at two a.m. and I wake up at about ten in the morning. And this was the day of TwitchCon, so I was actually super excited and ready to go to the convention ASAP. And so this morning before we went to the convention, I actually had to take one of my good friends, Alex, to Staples so she could get her business cards. She needed them for one of her meetups, and I decided I would take her because I had a car and I could, you know, save her the trouble of getting an Uber. And then immediately after, we went to Del Taco. Uh, it's a fast food taco place. And that's kind of when I realized that I was actually sick. I had felt sick a little bit prior to actually going to Del Taco, but I think the Del Taco may have made it even worse. 
I went there, I had a soda, I got sick to my stomach, I started getting the chills, and soon enough I couldn't keep anything inside of me. I just was having a terrible time and I was in the bathroom for a very, very long time. And this is when I realized that it wasn't just, you know, me getting sick from the food. I was actually very sick. I started getting a sore throat. I started coughing a ton and I got congested. My eyes started watering. I started breaking out in a cold sweat constantly. And I was in the bathroom for like four to six hours. So I decided to finally let my Discord know that, hey, I'm sick and I probably won't be raiding today. And so for these next three days, I was pretty much sick, almost bedridden. I would get up at night and, you know, hang out with people, but I was still pretty much feeling terrible. I would take DayQuil as much as I could, but I was just flat out feeling incredibly bad. And so finally, Sunday night slash Monday early morning, it was like 3 or 4 a.m., I finally feel able body enough to get on WoW because I just couldn't sleep. I was just dying coughing and having a terrible time. And so I open up WoW and uh, I actually see that my friend Aiden had texted me. So I check it and uh, he says, yo, like, where have you been? I heard that you're done with WoW. Someone in the guild told me that you were quitting. And that's when I got really mad and I was like, what, who told you that? And I decided to investigate for myself the next day. And so this is where my friend starts telling me that, yeah, people are randomly just leaving the guild. People are randomly just quitting. And uh, I'm not entirely sure why, but it's happening in large numbers. So at this point, I was curious as to what was going on. And uh, I had decided that that next day, which was Monday yesterday, that I would be investigating whatever the fuck happened. And I'd be talking to the people in the Discord to ask them what had really been going on and what caused them to quit. Sure enough, now you're caught up to speed. This is where we talk about tragedy and the thing that he was doing to make people leave my guild. And so apparently that same day, Tragedy and his friends, uh, Ace, uh, Frost, uh, I don't know, I don't know the rest, uh, they decided that they didn't know what was going on, despite them constantly using my Discord, and they left the guild. Uh, they decided to make their own guild called Paradox, which is now on the server, and they went under the guise of, we don't know what happened to Owl, despite me posting in Discord about it, uh, we are going to reform the guild because we think he's gone. We think he's done. And so this is where I didn't know shit until Sunday or Monday. It, it really pisses me off that, like, he didn't, he didn't come to me first and say, like, hey, like, are you okay? He didn't message me. He didn't Discord DM me. He was in my Discord. He could have messaged me, right? He could have come to me and said, like, yo, dude, are we doing anything with the guild because we're thinking about just leaving and stuff? No. He decided to leave and tell people that I quit. And here comes the evidence part. So first off, he messaged somebody named Zaya or Zaid, somebody who I've trusted for like nine months now because he was officer in one of my former uh, private server guilds. He says they said that they reformed the guild and that you knew about it and were cool with it and that if I wanted to join to let them know. Right. So he tells me that when I first come on the other day. And then my friend... Aiden, who's Canals, he's my real life friend that I've known for 15 years, he also got messaged by Tragedy saying that some dude with TTV in his name, his name is Tragedy TV, told me that you were done playing WoW and that you'll never play again. That was Tragedy, is what Zaya said, and he said, yeah, him. And at this point, I'm pissed and I start messaging him, and I'm like, I messaged him and I said, I didn't quit, I posted in Discord, I was sick, and you tell people to leave and join your guild. I literally made an announcement for it, which is there. And he said, all I said is you haven't come back, I never said you quit. <coughs> and then I tell him about the stuff in regards to how Zaya and Canals, Aiden, my real life friend, told me that they had been both messaged by him saying that I quit the game and to join his guild. And he says to me, he has the audacity to say to me, so you're going off what other people say, good GM skills. Because I'm not going to trust the guy who is an officer in my former guild for nine months. And I'm not going to trust my best friend, or one of my greatest friends, excuse me, of 15 years, 16 years almost. We went to elementary school together. Yeah, I'm not going to trust them and the word that they say. That's a bullshit, dude. You are so full of shit. And so at this point, he goes to saying that, so now you're spreading lies because I started asking people in his guild, like, hey, like, did, were you told this? And, uh, and he said, no one told, said you were okay with it. Uh, and that's in reference to the merge, because he said that eventually our guilds were going to merge back together, 
which I don't even understand why you would tell people that because why would people leave in the first place just to merge back again that just flat out doesn't fucking make sense so i don't know why you proposed that we were going to merge back and you'll hear people say that they were told that in the voice call that i did later in this video but he says that and then of course to top it all off let's see uh i uh he says that i asked no one was sure when you were coming back i said it in discord nor no one was made that he used very often for voice calls. I saw Exkeet in there, Frost Hippo in there, Ace in there. Um, him, Tragedy was in there all the time. And I put a post in there saying that I was sick. And they didn't say anything. They didn't know. It's like almost like they missed the one message in the only Discord that they're constantly in. And uh, so I just picked up the pieces. No need to come at me. The pieces of what? I was offline for three days because I was sick. It's not like I was gone for a month. I was sick for three, maybe like three and a half days, almost four, because I got the stomach flu. And you're acting like I wasn't online for a full on fucking year. You didn't pick up any pieces. You're just a scummy person who decided to lie to people to, so you could form your own guild. Under what circumstances, I don't know, or what you're trying to achieve. Is it because you're trying to blow up your Twitch channel or something? Or you just want power? I don't know, but you literally took like half the people from my guild messaged them saying that, hey, like, I will quit. He's done. And if at this point you don't believe me, hold on, let, let's end with the last thing he said. He decided to come at me and all he said when I asked him more questions is, your guild's dead, period. And I told him that pathologically lying is disgusting. That's all he had to say to end it. And then I messaged him more, he didn't fucking respond. He just, he didn't want to respond to me anymore. I called, I called him out for his bullshit and then he just stopped talking to me. So now we're going to move on to the best part and it's somebody in his own fucking guild. In fact, there were two people. The One of them asked not to be shown. But luckily, this person who's in his guild, who's a max level, told me the whole ordeal of what happened. So first and foremost, you can see that, of course, he has the Paradox tag. You can see that uh, I've blurred out everything other than Paradox and my minion and me standing there. And then uh, he says, first thing he said to me was, I was told that you wouldn't have time. And I asked him, by who? And then he says, I think it was trad. Tragedy. He was told by tragedy that I wouldn't have time for WoW anymore, implying that I quit the fucking game. He's in your guild. He's a level 60. And he's saying that you said the same thing that you told four other people in my guild. Uh, let's see. He said that they were taking people from the guild telling, and then I had to blur out the name, quit. It was my name and then another person's name who also vouched for this. And we would never raid, apparently. I mean, I wanted to stay, but literally everyone from who is in this guild. And I just want to stop for a second and emphasize what he just said. I mean, I wanted to stay, but literally everyone from Hoot, Hoot, my guild, everyone from Hoot is in this guild. It's almost like you messaged every single person online and told them I quit the game. And then the funniest part is uh, we come to this point in the conversation I said he invited me to stuff too, like I was talking about when we run Maradon and Sunken Temple together. Uh, and then he finally says he must keep looking and slash who hoot because that's how he recruited me. And that's funny because he messaged quite literally everybody who was online in my guild to tell them that I was done with WoW and to join their guild. Instead of, you know, recruiting a world chat like a normal guild was, would do, he decided to recruit from my guild by telling them that I quit and to join their guild because they're a reformed hoot guild. And if you don't believe it at this point, just think about what Zaya and Canals earlier said where they were both PM'd out of nowhere to join this other guild because I wasn't online anymore. Isn't that isn't that weird that it just so happens that somebody from the their guild that got messaged also lines up with the people that I'm not supposed to trust in my guild. That's that's really weird. That is the worst type of human being you can be. You could have just told me, yes, I decided to reform the guild. Yes, I invited people from your guild because you know what? You weren't playing. But you said that none of this, you did none of this. You said that you did literally nothing. You just made your own guild and people decided to join. That's bullshit. You targeted people. You told them I was done with the game. You told them that I wasn't coming back and that I didn't have time for WoW. Do you realize what kind of person you are? That is disgusting. And I know a lot of people hate drama, but I have to address this. You are vile. That is like disgusting that 
your your own guild members come to me and they tell me that yeah they were told this concrete enough the only other thing i have to show is a screenshot uh where it says really did he pm you i'm guessing you're not gonna raid with us xd and he said yeah he pms me and that was him saying that yeah he pms me while i was in the guild to join his guild so that's all i have to say that's all i got but wait there's more all right so i hate to cut out in the middle of the video to this random sequence of me being in kargath badlands but uh I decided to message somebody who was in my guild formerly, somebody who I had talked to quite a bit, and he said he was perfectly fine with me not blurring out his name, but it's Layers. Layers is currently in Paradox, let me see who Paradox, you can see that Layers is in there. And Layers' whole story to me is probably the one that is going to link everything together and make you realize kind of the scummy group that Paradox is. And I thought it was only tragedy, and this whole video I've been saying it's only tragedy. But it's now 1, I mean 10 o'clock at night, and I'm finally messaging somebody that I knew, and they're like, okay, this is what happened. So, here's the big juicy stuff. So, I, I told him I was gone 3 to 4 days six, sick, and I wanted to ask him a question, and I asked him in regards to Paradox and Tragedy, what did he tell you I had quit, uh, did he tell you I had quit the game, or that I wasn't making time for the game anymore? No, he told me that you weren't interested in raiding, basically. I've never talked to Tragedy, and I've never said that I wasn't interested in raiding. I've always been interested in raiding. I had just gotten sick, like I've emphasized many times. And I asked for him word for word out of it, and I think we digressed here. Oh no, he says, I can't tell you word for word, but it's basically along the lines of we made the re we remade the guild being more raid orientated towards end game. And then he was telling me that he was with Zuggers, who's also in my guild right now. Shout out to Zuggers, you're a homie. He's actually really cool, he talks in guild chat, he's a nice guy. And uh, he was telling me he was questing with Zuggers at the time, um, told him what tragedy told me. Uh, so I was saying like, if he wants a raid oriented guild, why did he pull like the level thirties and forties from my guild? He pulled literally a bunch of low levels as well. And Zugger said to me, basically, he's going to wait for you. And then he said, from what I remember, he said, we are taking all hoop members that want to join, but he whispered you specifically, or he didn't say that in guild, right? Nah, he whispered me. And then I said, that confirms it. And then this is the biggest piece of shit I've ever seen. I wasn't on when he left because I heard they remade the guild. But I still saw him in the guild when someone told me. So he was still in our guild asking people to join. No, I heard Ace left and someone else who I forget and remade the guild. But Tragedy was still offline in the guild. He never said anything that I saw in guild chat. But Layers had gone offline and he obviously knew that Tragedy was still in the guild and they were forming this guild. But the people that I trusted now, Ace and Frost, who I thought were cool, were now not cool because they're the ones who helped form that guild and lied to me to my face because they're saying tragedy formed a guild but really they formed the guild so yeah i'm now at this point where i don't trust anybody that is in the guild i don't trust anybody that's in paradox excuse me in my guild i trust you you're great um but i don't trust anybody who's in a position of power in paradox and in fact if you are even in the guild i'm probably just flat out not going to associate with you at this point because that's disgusting like come on I, I realize now that Ace and Frost were in on it too, and they lied to me, or they're vouching for tragedy, whatever. And that's gross, because I trusted all three of them, and I just kind of, they played me behind my back. It sounds like they sent me all the same messages. If I were to show my Discord, they've quite literally sent me the same message. Oh, I don't know, tragedy made his own guild, and yada yada yada. And so, this is the end of it. You're probably saying, like, wrap it up, owl, wrap it up, dummy, let's go. <laughs> and I understand that. It's been a really long video. And the reason why I made it so long was so I could get not only my side, but also get, like, their input, or not really their input, but people from their guild to, like, kind of show that it's the same thing going on. You wouldn't just believe me if I just showed the people that I know, obviously vouching for me. I want to show that people from that guild would also say that, yeah, we experienced the same shit, and what you're saying is true. I didn't want to just throw them under the bus, you know. I'm not that kind of person. I need evidence before I just throw accusations like that. So I wanted to make sure I was full and clear and you knew everything about all that group in Paradox. And to be honest with you, if you're in Paradox, I, I'm not sure if I said this. I think I might have said it in an earlier clip, but it's been a couple hours. But I don't really want to do anything with you if you're in Paradox. If you want to come back and join Hoot, that's fine. 
there are a select few that will never be allowed in Hoot, but uh, if you are somebody who might have just accidentally joined, then let me know. I'll let you back in. We're still doing higher end content, by the way. I still plan to do Molten Core this Friday, or UBRS this Friday if I can. So I am doing higher end content, just so you know, that was all just a lie. And the reason why it's also so long is because, you know, at the end of the day, I just want to let you guys know I have feelings too. And all these guys, Ace, he's, his channel's Ace Gaming 57, and Frost, his channel's Frost Hippo, and Tragedy, his channel's Tragedy 23. And then even like a guy I hadn't really known that well, Kaz, he was like Kaz TV. All these guys are, you know, streamers and stuff, and I thought we could have like a group like the boys. Because I wanted just a group to create content with, I wanted a group to play Classic with, but... They all kind of just went my, behind my back. They could have at least Discord DM'd me or Twitter DM'd me. I know that a few of them have my Twitter or even like Battle.net or sent me a mail in game, anything like that. They could have contacted me anyway. There's so many ways they could have messaged me, but they chose zero of them. They could have messaged my friend, friends in the guild or other officers in the guild to tell me, hey, like we're forming another guild. And uh, yeah, but instead they went behind my back, formed their own guild and then decided to tell everybody that I had quit the game. So, my feelings were hurt because I thought these could be the boys and we could have fun PvPing in Phase 2, but that bridge is now burned and I want nothing to do with any of them. So, I'm sorry for that spiel. I just I just want you guys to know that I do, at the end of the day, have feelings and I value people who are in my guild. I view you guys as, like, my buddies, you know? I don't view you as just guildies. I view you as my friends and, like, we can do content and shit together. And even if we don't know each other, we're just at least mutuals. You're in my guild and we can hang out. So I just value you guys highly and I just want you to know that you aren't just some number to me. You aren't disposable. You guys are all really cool people and yeah. So anyways, I'll wrap it up here. Sorry for taking up so much time. I just thought you guys should know everything. And I'm sorry to get like sad at the end, but it's kind of now just all clicking in my head, everything. And uh, yeah. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. I probably shouldn't say that in this video, it's just, that's always my outro, I apologize, but thank you guys so much for watching, thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, as for now, I'm probably going to go on with solo content creation, I just, you know, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, I will catch you guys all later, hope you have a great rest of your day, and uh, yeah, catch you later, peace.